What's up, friends of the good mood? This is Manny, and welcome to this random video right here. Because I want to play the Spectre with Tulumbas again. It's been so long since I played it last time. So I thought, hey, let's put a Spectre with Tulumbas in here. A Magnum Blitz robot. People usually underestimate how much damage these Magnums can do. It's insane. And then we have the little Strider here and two robots from the recent live stream. I'm trying to focus on those, though. And uh, I'm going to activate and refill the damage booster here so that we can do maximum damage against uh, the enemy. And let's do let's do a round Team Deathmatch and Beacon Rush, okay? I've never played Team Deathmatch, really, or I haven't played it in a very long time. And I'm guessing that there may be a few of you guys out there who also either never played yourselves and uh, don't mind seeing it once in a while um, and or alternatively are playing Team Deathmatch themselves and, you know, would be interested to see me play it also once. And that's what we're going to do here. And keep in mind, Team Deathmatch is a game mode where range uh, plays a significantly much increased um, uh, uh, role. Uh, because usually you, you don't you can't spawn next to the enemy usually. And see here already, Sinids and Noricums. We have Tridents. We have uh, Avengers here. No one is running short range only brawling weapons. Most people are going with some kind of range. And that's also what we have here on the Spectre. Oh, you look at this. Look at these salvos. What, what is going on over there, man? They have so much of this stuff. Okay. I'm not even going to bother. I'm not even going to bother firing at this guy because I know, I know he's going to open his shield. You saw this? That was... Oh, I, I can stay inside the shield. Nice. I'm not going to be able to drop the whole shielding. Uh, I, I knew I couldn't really fire on... I'm staying with this guy. He can heal me and he also has... Uh, has the Ansel shield protection. That's perfect. All right, let's 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 hurt this Carnage a little bit. We weren't able to do a lot of damage, but a little bit at least. And uh, when this guy uses his shield, then I will be interested in attacking him. See, now he's going to bring up the shield. It was, it was absolutely clear that this was going to happen. Um... But next time he may not have his shield when he needs it, and that's what I want, want to do here. There he coming. The uh, carnage is coming again, and the carnage is toast. Nice. Wow, this is uh, this is some different gameplay. This is gameplay that I normally don't do. Uh, team deathmatch. It's a whole lot of uh, a whole different playstyle. Ares is coming. Okay, he's gonna dash somewhere, isn't he? Yep, there it is. I'm gonna land in safety with my jump. Making sure I'm not gonna expose myself to unnecessary firepower. Maybe I should go here and focus or help out on the right side a little bit. I'm taking a lot of hits from Hydras or something. Um, if I want to avoid this, I should probably stay inside. See, he's 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 in range. You see this? This is a. Um, And he brought up the shield immediately. It is so annoying, dude. You just can't fight it. You just can't fight this. I would like to kill this Tulumba Spectre, but I don't think I'm getting him in range. Sticking my back against the wall to avoid the incoming Hydra hits. But somehow he's still able to, to put the Hydra around the corner. I'm not sure how he does it. He shouldn't be able to hit me with his Hydra there. Okay, I'm hitting the Bulgazari really well right there. Nice. He's taking some decent chunks of damage from my rockets. And I'm guessing that the Hydras will be firing at me in a second again. Because I'm a really easy target, right? The Hydras can do a lot of damage on me because I have no shield protection. So this guy, maybe we can lure him into a shot. Haha, <laughs> see, there it was. He just fired. He just fired once. We have a, a Mercury coming up. And, uh, uh, no, not a Mercury, uh, it's, um, is it a, a no, it's a, it's a Mender. It's also a robot with M in the name. Okay, he's coming, he's trying to hit me here. I'll try to counter walk the corner and stay alive as long as possible so I have another stealth jump, if that's possible. Okay, and I killed the Haichi, nice, did some decent damage there. And I'm still alive, by the way. The reason why we're still healing is also is interesting. We have the healing uh, ability, the passive heal. He just healed. I'm waiting for his resistance to drop, and then I'm hitting him. Nice. So this is the Tulumba Spectre, guys, on Team Deathmatch. You can play this this thing very carefully and very, very nicely, and try and stay um, 
Stay out of enemy line of fire. What do we have? An Ares. Let's let's release his shield. There it is. Shield is already draw, uh, uh, used. And now I should hopefully be able to uh, to deal some some damage to him. Uh, right now, it doesn't look like I can because he's playing extremely careful. There it is, though. Nice damage and kill. Full area snacked. Uh-oh. And we have a trident. No, a, a, um, yeah, boy. Trying to stick into the wall here. Trying to avoid the Aoguang rockets. But it doesn't look like I can do this. He landed. His resistance is dropped. And he's dead. Whoo! Man. One Tolumba Spectre, ladies and gentlemen. Who would have thought that this thing would do so well still, right? Uh, no. He drops... Uh, he, he absorbs the entire firepower um, with his absorber shield. Very powerful robots, these uh, Ares. Incredibly hard to take him down. But he's finally taking some damage. You see a lot of Hydras are coming around from all kinds of sides. And another Ares is apparently preparing his attack run. Nice, I almost got the other guy too. That was close, dude. That was super close. Okay. Oh boy. Ah, ah. Okay, I, I already lost my weapons. The Heich. Oh! Soran! Or whoever it was. How dare you, sir. Okay, we have an Ares there. I'm waiting for the Ares to use his built in weapons, and then I fly up. Lockdown ammo here. And uh, and taking down this Ares, and then taking down this guy too. Last stand on both robots. I'm uh, I'm sharing the damage. You see this? I stop firing at the end because first off, I have a dam damage overtime effect uh, that has the ability to do a lot of damage to the enemy um, and to kill him even after my uh, after I stop firing at him. I can even take him down still. That would be the damage overtime effect. Uh, I expected that, yep. I kind of expected this guy to do this. Alright, we have an Aochun around the corner here. And here's the Ares that I want to hurt really hard. Unfortunately, the Aochun is my biggest threat because he can fly after me. And that's why I'm deciding to go and uh, get some distance to the enemy. Just get myself away from them. It is a close match. It's a very, very well, nice, nicely balanced match with a very close result. This guy has already lost a lot of his firepower. Oh, uh, he's regenerating his suppression ability. That's what he's currently doing. Okay, here we go. I'm hoping he doesn't have quantum radar. He doesn't have it. Lockdown ammo, lockdown ammo. Boom. Both of them are locked. He's got quantum radar ticking. Uh, buddy, I can still kill him in time. Godlike. That reminds me. Now that I've done so many godlikes, how about something that you guys have requested for a long time? The godlike sunglasses, that's right. Hello, Aochun. I'm not sure what you were thinking coming over here like that, because you know I will have my flight ready really soon. And yours is gonna be, uh, yo, gone. So here we go. Let's hit him. Activate lockdown ammo here. And lock them both down. And hopefully get this Inquisitor before he stealth jumps. And it worked. Nice. Now I need to get away from the Haichi. Ooh, boy. I need to reload also my Avengers. That's a 10 second long reload. That takes a while. Wow, this guy is fast. Is that an ouch? Uh, is that really an invader, dude? This thing is so fast. It is an invader. Look how freaking fast this thing is. Oh, uh, you have last stand, huh? There you go. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get this guy first, and then him. And boom. Godlike, godlike, godlike. Dude, you fly up with this insane robot, and you just take out the half of the map, and then you land, and you're like, oh, man, that was nice. Let's do it another time. And, uh, yo, so that's what we are doing right now. We're just flattening the enemy. And it seems like uh, we're having a decent advantage on the enemy at this point. It's a nemesis that Nasser has. And next time he opens up with his... Uh, with his shield. Okay, see? There it is. I'm gonna fly up here. 
I'm gonna try and attack this guy now. Of course, he has a really good spot to hide. Uh, I'm gonna try and land in safety. If he has another robot, which is always possible... See? There it is. I need to make sure I'm landing somewhere where he can't hit me. And he, now he's stealth jumping over the cover, trying to kill me now, because he knows my, my thing is gone, you see? Uh, he was trying to stealth jump over, and now we've got him pretty much. Since he already fired with his um, with his shock train, there's not much damage left in his robot. And by the way, this Aochun here has um, the uh, the skill, the pilot skill for increased acceleration on the uh, Avengers. So 66% faster reaching the high accelerated state where you fire with 30% more firepower. 30% uh, faster, I mean. And we also have a 30% increased... Um, shot grouping, which makes it makes the Avenger much more accurate long range. So let's jump into another match again, just so that we can have some fun uh, with this Tulumba Spectre again. I loved, I, I really love this thing. Still, it's such an interesting robot, and it's so so much fun to play this thing. So um, starting with the uh, Spectre immediately on Beacon Rush. This is a little bit more dangerous now because the enemy can actually come towards us, right? Uh, and enemies are running a lot of uh, short-range brawling machines here. On this ro on this um, map, people are less likely, and on this game mode, people are less likely to run um, the long-range weapons. So when somebody is close, is spawning close enough to me, he can be very dangerous. Uh, see that? It's already an Ares with his uh, shield ability, and that's an. Um, uh oh, what was that? Somebody jumped here. I'm not sure what it is, but I'm doing a lot of damage to him. Oh, he's capturing our beacon. That's an interesting tactic. Let's get this guy. Whoa, he's still alive? Oh, it's last stand, that's why. Okay. Maybe, let's see. Yup, it worked. See that? I only had two shots in my magazine, but these shots were enough to, to make him think he needs his shield. And now the the thing is the other the next guy will bring up his shield. There it is. It's two Ares playing in uh, in in shield sequence mode. That's a bit of a problem for us. There we go. But now we can hurt him. See that Ares done. And I I made a back jump into safety too. Uh, that's usually what I prefer doing with long range weapons, long range setups. Not jumping forward, but actually jumping the opposite direction to get in safety. This guy is gonna use his shield. See this. Oh my god. Oh, is that lame. Uh, but uh, thankfully, I'm a little bit lucky here, because he was unable to hit me with his built-in weapons. He was using lockdown ammo on the Ares. <laughs> this is so lame, man. He would have basically been able to just instantly one-hit kill me. And there's nothing I could do could have done. He would have just been able to one-hit kill me instantly. Uh, it was this guy right there, I think. And he's already running the next... Uh, shield ability. I'm trying to be ready for him once he comes out of it, which is now. See that? Nice! Bye-bye, Ares! Oh, no! I need to get in safety here if I can. Oh, thank goodness, it worked. We have higher splash radios than uh, than, the t than the Spectre has with his um, Orcans. Uh-oh. Ow, this hurts so much. This hurts so incredibly much. Okay. And now let's take revenge on this guy a little bit. I don't have as much damage output in my magazine as I want to have, but it's gonna be enough for a little bit of damage. Now I'm gonna be dead, though. Oh, I made it back into safety. Who would have known? Who would have guessed I was gonna make it back into safety here? This guy's gonna land. Resistance down. Damage coming in. Bam, 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 bam. Very valuable damage against... Whoa, the last rocket salvo hasn't done any damage to him. Come on, last hit. Nice. Okay. That was the Tulumba Spectre again shooting me. So we're down to only... Uh, we have lost 25% of our firepower. See the Tulumba Spectre? He's constantly trying it. He's constantly trying his luck. And we're working down another Ares. Nice. Worked. Uh-oh. Now I'm dead, though. Oh, my God. Look at the army coming around the corner. Ah, the army of darkness has caught me. All right. Let's, uh, let's use this thing that I wanted to use as well. And look how much damage it does. It's so insane. People always underestimate how much damage this thing can do. Unfortunately, 
I'm suppressing him and him and him, and I'm having them all suppressed. I'm inside his shield. And nice. We got them both. Uh-oh. We need to get this guy before he stealths again. Nice. Yo, I like this thing. Boom, boom, boom. There we go. Nice. And we're, at, we're protected here by this guy's shield, which is awesome. Uh, unfortunately, I can't walk away from him. Nice. He did it. He did it. Oh, no. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this damage. This damage output is just brutal, dude. Uh, it is... I, I, I did a weapons test, right? Um, I did a weapons test recently um, with a special video where I compared heavy and medium and uh, weapons and light and medium weapons. I compared them. And the result was interesting uh, that the uh, um, Magnums... If you want to see the video, it's up here in the upper right corner uh, for you guys. The Magnums actually dealt... Um, a huge amount of damage, like only 20, 26% less damage or so than the Tarans would over a long period of time. Of course, in a short period of time, uh, the Magnums would actually um, do uh, uh, less damage, a lot less damage. But only on a short period of time. Uh, the longer the period of firing takes, uh, the better you will do with... Um Let's get him here. The longer you, the, the longer the firing goes, the better the the Magnum does compared to the Tarans, because the Magnum has no reload, the Tarans have a reload, and this way you uh, you you come out better uh, with the uh, Magnum. Not better, but um, compared to before, better with firing a longer period of time. So um, yeah, here is a thing for you, bam! If you haven't yet subscribed, guys. Uh, and you want to see more of this stuff, then, uh, yo, consider subscribing to the channel, guys. I'm gonna do my outro. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and comment down below. And as I said, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel as brutal as a man can it for more. Thanks for bearing with you guys. Awesome as always. Money Gaming signing off.